would have guessed it? Little Scottish broch, a roundhouse, it lends itself to the perfect Minecraft survival base. And so does this little roundhouse. If you haven't seen those two videos, check out the links below in the description. Today is the turn of another Scottish roundhouse. This one, though, is built on water, a very defensive survival base. And yeah, the word is Cranig. That is the name for the Scottish roundhouses built on water. Here's a reconstruction of one that was made in Loch Tay in Scotland. And Scotland is part of the United Kingdom. Most people don't realize that many Scottish lochs have got, well, a loch, by the way, is a lake. Uh, a littered with small tree-filled islands and these are poking their heads up just above the water and what people don't know is that once they held amazing little Iron Age dwellings they had thatched roofs timber roundhouses that's what they were supported on huge wooden posts called piles which were driven deep into the bed of the loch or lake there are over 600 recognized Cranogs all around Scotland, also the some in Ireland and in the outskirts of Wales as well. Alrighty, let's get this built. What you want to do is find your water level and then add these two columns here five blocks high at the same level as the water. That's pretty important. So the five blocks high, you can see the bottom of them are exactly opposite the water. Then once you've done that, you can add some upper wooden planks on the third block up. So there should be clear two blocks above that. And then this is just the dock, the, the gangway, the walkway out to the Cranig. And what I'm gonna do is build a little section of this and then use some world edit to stack it out just as far into the lake as you want. If I say lake, I mean loch. <laughs> Anyway, some little uh, Trapidorus Maximus, this is what I call trapdoors, on the outside like that. Pretty simple so far. And then I'm going to make some steps. So these steps can be made pretty much any way you want. You could use Minecraft stairs. You could use slabs like I've done here. I'm just making a little gap of one and then bringing the slabs down by half a block. Pretty simple. And where you put these uprights is up to you. Whatever looks aesthetically the most pleasing to you. I suggest you don't copy these stairs block by block. Can if you want. Some people are absolutely determined. I know that when they, when they look at my tutorials. Yeah, just some little stairs. I've gone for slabs. I think maybe some stairs would look quite good as well. And here's somebody who's going to come along and hopefully help me. Um, so there we go. And I'm going to add some more Trapidorus Maximus on the side just to provide the kind of a gangway or walkway up to these little uh, little platform here, which is gonna lead all the way over to the Kranich. Um, what you can see here is the trapdoors just going in at the side, pretty simple. One and two, same on the other side. Hopefully my little helper is gonna do the same. Looks like he is, sorry, I don't know who that is. <laughs> the names aren't displayed, Never mind. Right, here we go. I'm going to extend and just repeat this process uh, with gaps of two between the uprights and it's going to extend out into the lake. You can see that I've actually gone for another five, I think, in a row. It is up to you. You're building in a different part of the world. To me, obviously, you are. Then you can simply... Um, extend it as far as you want. Now, I've got rid of the water. Now, I do understand if you're building in survival, you can't get rid of the water, but for the purposes of the video, I have drained the swamp, so to speak, and uh, at least I'm doing it if no one else is. Anyway, a couple more uprights, just like this, and then what we want to do is put on um, an upright right in the middle. Sorry, the camera's going a little bit wonky here. Let's just get the, can we get the camera around again, please? Thank you so much, Mr. Cameraman. Kind of almost missing what I'm doing there. So uh, come out by one block, and then we're gonna come up with uh, an upright log pile. Now these piles were actually made of alder which is a type of wood. If you've never heard of alder before, it's a type of wood. Right, we're going for another circle. It's a seven, two, two, one, circle. Simple as that. Seven, two, two, one. The one gets used again, and then we go round again. Yes, these big alder piles or big spikes, wooden spikes, have been sharpened with the axes and then driven two meters into the loch bed, probably with some sort of horizontal post put 
fixed to the uh, the pile and then it would have been twisted, twisted down into the ground and a lot of piles. You would have had a lot of piles building this house, that is for sure. One of the digs, uh, the, one of the archaeological digs, excavations into a loch, found 168 piles. 168. Scientists estimate it would have taken them about 12 days to put all those piles into the ground. And that would have supported the whole structure. Sometimes they just put loads of stone and rubble down and sand and clay and dung or whatever and threw it down and kind of built themselves up an island. But initially, uh, they probably put these huge piles into the ground. Okay, so once you've got your circle then done, your 7221 circle, I kind of marked it out in um, nice bright wool. But if you don't want to do that, use upper wooden slabs just like the gangplank. Now I know why I had the weird camera angle, so I could lift it up. Right, these placements are absolutely crucial, so have a look very carefully. Count the blocks and see exactly where I'm putting these upright. So we've got one upright here on the end of the seven. Another upright on the second two, if that kind of makes sense. Then miss out the one gapper and then put another little pile just there. There we go. So to begin with, they would have had rafts and boats uh, as well as wooden scaffolding to get out into the loch or lake, almost creating kind of an artificial island. And then another pile at the beginning of that seven round the corner. Iron Age technology, eh? kind of defensive this little place as well. You would have been um, safe from, uh, I guess, Wolves, I don't know if they would have attacked you, uh, but certainly from your enemies. And these things were used for hundreds and hundreds of years. So extend those piles down, and then we can just uh, replace all that wool with upper wooden slabs. And then we come to the middle. Now, I don't know how they got a, um, a fire into the middle of a floating island. So I think they may have built up stones or clay underneath the fire. The fire was usually in the center from what people can figure out. So I've put some nether rack right in the middle, some cobblestone around it and extended that cobblestone all the way down to the loch floor. Chances are that your loch or your little pond in Minecraft won't be as deep. I kind of dug mine out, I think a little bit too much. Anyway, we can light that up, create kind of a hearth around it, and then we can fill in the wood. By the way, they found wooden kind of churn lids, so that it looks like um, these people <clears throat> made butter as well, which is pretty amazing. They had lots of uh, ability to make food, which is obviously what you would want, really, to kind of survive. Obviously, they had the ability to make food, but what kind of foods? Well, they had barley, oats, linseed, they prepared grain as well. By the way, I'm not really commentating on these Trapidorus Maximuses. I guess you can just see from the video exactly where they go. Just creating kind of a, a walkway around the outside so you don't fall off uh, into the loch. So you've got to be really careful about the placement of these, but hopefully you can see exactly where I'm putting these. Yeah, these guys would have had uh, wheat, like porridge or bread. They would have gathered berries, hunted red deer, roe deer as well. Absolutely amazing. They probably didn't keep animals on the Cranach themselves. Scientists, uh, archaeologists didn't find any sign of animals, no beetles that would have been there. If the animals did a big poo, then it would have been beetles coming to eat the poo. So there was none of that there. So they probably didn't keep animals. Instead, look, I've put pigs and sheep and there would have been cattle as well, howling the cattle in the distance. That's where the animals would have been in large kind of fields uh, on shore. That is for sure. But living on this thing would have been a bit tricky. I think so. There would have been flies. The whole thing would have slumped and collapsed. It would have been re needing repaired. These guys were really keen to live on these things, that's for sure. Anyway, can you see what I've done? I've put a random selection of more piles. More piles than you can shake a stick at. Put these piles absolutely everywhere, dot them about, make it random, and it'll start to really come alive. This build really comes alive when you've got lots and lots of piles, which just sounds completely wrong. So there we go. I have completed this round all the other three quarters. Well, I think somebody's coming to have a look. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Go away, go away. Yeah, got some more stages to do. Um, counting out six blocks, six 
pumpkins as it was, as it is, and I'm gonna use um, some brown concrete powder. Now, I love this block. It looks like wattle and daub, this kind of structure which was little fine maybe hazel sticks and you would mix in mud and dung and grass and clay and things like that. Anyway, we're making a circle to make the little living quarters. It's a 5-2 L-shaped 2, 5-2 L-shaped 2, 5-2 L-shaped 2, 5-2 L-shaped 2 circle. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. You can kind of see it for yourself anyway. Okay, so that is... The progress so far, make your wattle and daub wall two blocks high. And then I got some dark colored, I think it's dark oak fences and slapped them on top. Made a little door at the entrance opposite the little walkway or gangway into our Kranig. Don't you love the word Kranig? I love the word Kranig. Okay, we need some uprights to hold up the roof. So spacing it out with one pumpkin again, I'm gonna use some simple oak logs coming up, oak blocks coming up, and these ones in the corners are going to be six blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make a little gap of two pumpkins on the kind of the, the middle straight bits here, and little gaps of two, and then these are going to come up by seven, so seven upright coming up. Hey, one thing that would have been in here would have been sheepskins and deerskins. They would have processed the skins of animals in here. That's definitely something that would have been, um, because, you know, the archaeologists found some parasites that would have lived on the sheep and in the sheep skin and in the deer skin as well. So that's kind of proof. you got to be <laughs> it's a tricky thing to do to excavate these things. Some of them sometimes even pump out the water and, and kind of dig down and find out what these cranachs were like in the locks. Okay, some temporary blocks with pumpkins there, and I'm just going to seal the deal here, kind of zip these round um, like that. Kind of temporary blocks, and then we can take away the pumpkins. Boom, boom, boom. It'll be roof later on. Some more temporary blocks here. I'm going to make it out of, I think, blue wool. And they go in the corners right here. Blue wool. Come on, do it. Do it! Mm, blue wool, that's your place. You can tell when I'm filling in here and the video's going too slow. <laughs> Yoda impressions. Have you seen the new Star Wars? I'm recording this and uploading it in December 2017, and I'm so looking forward to seeing Star Wars 8. That's what I is filling my head <laughs> right now. Star Wars 8. Cannot wait to see it. I'm going to go and see it in Edinburgh at Dominion Theatre on the 28th at 3 o'clock. See you there. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so, uh, more temporary blocks, and then add on uh, another kind of quartet of four wooden blocks and that kind of brings us up towards the roof. Now we're going to add a little bit of detail in with some fence posts. I'm going to hold the camera here on this side so you get a good look on this side where I'm putting one, two, three and four fence posts. Same simply on all the four other sides. Some more at the top. Kind of a lattice work of woodwork at the top of this waterborne roundhouse called a Kranig. Just love that word, Kranig. The more excuses, <laughs> the better. Was that like a moonwalking sheep? That was a moonwalking sheep. Oh well. Moving on, moving on. I think we're ready just about uh, to do the inside of this place. So I thought I'd create another kind of wattle and daub brown concrete wall here to separate out kind of a living or sleeping quarters. Um, so you can see exactly what I've done there, bringing it down in steps from the wood. Um, the step on the right there is kind of two, one, and then one, and then it's just one, one, one down on the left-hand side. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to make an entrance here to the um, to the little kind of private area. Uh, by before I'm doing that, I'm running these little fences around the build as well. Again, more kind of construction blocks. I know I've missed one out in the corner there. I'll go back and do that later on in the video. Do apologize. 
<laughs> really annoying when I miss out things like that. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll merge into Yoda's head here and you can kind of see what blocks I'm doing for the interior. The interior, really over to you guys. Just gonna give you a quick brief preview and idea of what I've done. You can see I've hung some barriers down here to provide some privacy for the sleeping area. There's a couple, whoa, I really, we really were inside, whoa, Yoda's head is a really weird place to be, that is for sure. Okay, so a couple of beds. Um, I've put a chest over here. What sort of things would you have in a bedroom in an Iron Age uh, Kranig, I have no idea. So I've put a table, kind of a book. <laughs> Don't know if they had books. Probably not books, actually, because the printing press, maybe they had something to take a note on. Would they have to make notes? I don't think they would have had notes or books, Andy, so don't don't put those enchantment tables. Anyway, they probably had some clothes. Definitely had some clothes. Deerskin, sheepskin clothing. Um, I'm going to just continue to subdivide off the interior of this round house. So I thought this could be kind of like a workshop area. So I'm putting down a couple of crafting benches and a table and kind of represent some tools with some item frames and some tools into the item frame. They would have had geese as well. I mean, geese would be great in Minecraft. Wouldn't you love to see geese in Minecraft? I I think geese would be the next brilliant, brilliant uh, mod to have. Anyway, you just want to create some storage. You would have stored their oats, their barley, their linseed, their bits of hanging meat from the ceiling as well. You could maybe use, um, is it redstone ore? Is that, that? no, not redstone ore. What's that? Mm, there's a block that represents meat. What is it? It's like, Something, oh, I can't remember. Someone told me in the comments. The guys, thank you so much for all your comments. By the way, can you guess what this is? That brown carpet is a skinned deer that's being prepared on the floor. <laughs> Scraped out. I thought some kids' beds would go over in the corner. Again, books in the Iron Age. Just, Andy, what you doing, man? What you doing with your life? Um, some hay could have been stored as well, I thought. And definitely plenty of chests and maybe something to represent barrels would be good. I would love some round barrels in Minecraft. Barrels would just add atmosphere to so many Minecraft builds. Anyway, a little storage area here. I'm just going to subdivide this off with some more Trapidorus Maximus. And I think we are probably done with kind of my flavor of what the inside might look like. We've got some, um, yeah, come out of Yoda's head. Yoda's head sometimes is not a great place to be. We're going to swing the camera around nice and slowly now to give you guys a good look at what we've been doing in the last few minutes. Storage areas, sleeping areas, a nice big hearth and cooking area in the middle. Plenty of room for spreading out animal skins as well, I think would be important. And all that remains now is to put on the roof of this build, I think. So we'll swing the camera around just another couple of seconds, give you guys a really good look at the inside of my Kranik, and then we'll just cut right to here and we're gonna put the roof on. So I'm gonna do the roof in colored wool, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going outside the brown concrete and I'm making a continuous wool, orange wool roof here, one that you could walk around. So it's a continuous line all the way around the outside. So I'm gonna use colored wool and I'm gonna change that colored wool with World Edit at the end into hay. But you could use any block you want. Now, the this is important, guys. So the next line up doesn't have any diagonals. Can you see I've knocked out the little diagonal blocks that aren't seen from the outside. So any blocks that aren't seen from the outside, I have knocked away. Going for a different color so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going for another continuous line of blocks around the build, this time in fetching pink. And I'm just gonna alternate that all the way up to the top of the build. But I'm not gonna speed this up. By the way, I've missed out a pink block there which I'll have to catch up with later on in the build. So that one was continuous. This one has the diagonals missing. Hopefully that's kind of clear. Every diagonal block that you can't see from the outside, you take away. I'm deliberately holding the camera here so you get a really good view, at least of half the roof. So here's where I discover I've missed out a pink block and I kind of scratch my head and go, what the heck is going on here? Uh, so the pink block goes in, dark blue block on top. 
and then we're ready for the next layer. I'm going to do it in red, and it's another continuous layer. In other words, you could walk around this wool without falling off. You definitely fall off dark blue because there's missing corners, but all the corners are included in this next layer, and that should bring you right up to two blocks away from the top, and I'm going to use some nice lime here, and again, the corners are missing. Hopefully the camera can swing up in a few seconds and we'll get a better look at the very top. Here we go. Purple wool for the next level. Again, continuous. You could stay in it, you could walk in it. And that brings us very, very close to the top. This looks really nice from the inside. I don't think I get a nice view of the inside in this video, but if you build it um, or even download it, then you can have a good look at it. So there we go, that is the roof. I'll just pan the camera around and this is what it looks like when it's changed into hay. And hey, that is the build finished. There we go, I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm well chuffed with this, it's atmospheric, it's true historically, it's an Iron Age roundhouse on water with lots of piles going down into the ground. We call it a Kranig. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to leave some nice feedback in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be doing some more Iron Age settlements or forts or builds. If you've got any good ideas, be sure to let me know because I love hearing from you and I just about reply to every single comment. If I don't reply, at least I'll give you a nice heart as well. Light up the inside of your Kranich. Isn't it atmospheric? I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And we'll just zoom in. Thank you so much to my little helpers and actors as well. Take care for now. May the blocks be with you.